guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I finally got to get my hands on the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush and Bronzer. I have been eyeing this out for so long. I've seen videos of people reviewing and stuff and I'm like, I really wanted to try. Um, just because I do love the Fenty Beauty Matte Stick, which I use to contour my face. And I thought, oh my gosh, I need to try this new bronzer out and see if it's any it's the same or is any better or whatever. So yeah, this is just my first impression and review on the products. If you guys tried it, please let me know how your thoughts are on the products and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more reviews and random things on beauty and makeup. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, let's get started. So as you guys can see, I've done my brows and my foundation and I've only got concealer and I've done my eyes. So. Everything I'm going to use today, I will list it down below, so please check that out. And I've got some lipstick on. The lipstick shade I'm wearing is from NARS, and it's called Toled. Toledi? Toilet. I will list in the name down below because I'm butchering the pronunciation. So what I was thinking of doing is to test out how these cream products work best, I'm going to powder half of my face by setting it with just my ambient powder that I normally use and then not set the other side and then we can compare and see if it works better on top of powder or under powder or no difference it works the same but yeah just to kind of see I'm going to take my ambient hourglass radiant light powder and I will only powder the left side of my face now, if you want to see my foundation routine just click up in this link here and it will show you to the video that I've filmed okay so left side I powdered, but I'm going to leave my right side not powdered. It's going to start in with the bronzer. That's the packaging. How stunning is that? That is, I love, I love Fenty Beauty packaging. She kills it every time. Um, so this, you get um, 6.23 grams of product. And I got it in the color Teddy, which is number five. Um, so we'll see how this looks on my skin. I, I kind of just guessed online to see which shade I thought was best for my skin tone. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll quickly just show you a swatch of the product. I'm going to take my Makeup Geek Stippling Angle... Ang I'm going to take my Makeup Geek Angled Stippling Brush. This is the brush I normally use to contour my face. And I'm just going to go straight in and pick some up on my brush. See how this goes. Ooh, maybe I put too much on my brush. It's blending quite nicely. This is actually not a bad color, I think. Putting a little bit more, see if it builds up nicely. So I've also filmed my contouring and highlighting video. So you can check that video out if you haven't seen it. Pretty. Just gonna clean up underneath here. I'm gonna take a little bit underneath my jawline too. Yeah, alright. First impressions. It's really pretty, it's very soft. Doesn't have any scent. <laughs> and it laid on very nicely on my foundation. Now that's the side that I haven't powdered. So let's try on the side that I have powdered. I'm just pressing, stippling, I'm not really swiping. Okay, now I kind of noticed that it's getting a little blotchy over the powder. I don't know if you guys can tell. This side definitely is more smooth and even. This side's just a little blotchy. Let's just keep blending and see if that will go away. Now you can definitely use a sponge as well if you don't have an, uh, a brush. But I normally like to use my brush so... Okay. So that's a bronzing contour. Done. It's definitely got that shine. Look at that. Alright, so closer look. I still prefer the side where I didn't powder. It doesn't look 
too bad on this side, but it definitely blended. I noticed that it blended so much easier on the side that I didn't powder. Okay, so next, let's go into the blushes. So I got three shades. Um, the colors I got was Fuego Flush, Strawberry Drip, and Daiquiri Dip. Now I have to admit, when I got the, uh, the blushes, I was very surprised on the size. <laughs> As you can, I'll compare the size for you. The size, this is the bronzing size, yeah? And then the blush is like that size. It's pretty small. But then again, I guess we don't really, I personally don't really reach for cream blushes as much. So I'll just quickly go, I'll show you guys swatches for these, the ones that I've got. This one is in Fuego Flush, which is a really nice coral with a bit of gold shimmer in there. And here's a swatch for Fuego Flush. Okay, this one is Strawberry Drip, which is a really nice cool tone pink. And this is the swatch. And the last shade is Daiquiri Dip, which is this really nice bright vivid red shade. And here's the swatch for that one. As you saw in the swatches, the colour pigmentation um, payoff was very sheer. So, like when you look at it, for example, strawberry dip and strawberry drip and daiquiri dip, um, in the pan itself, it's like, oh, very, very bold, but they do not come off like that when you swatch it. So, when I was looking on the Sephora website and checking out the shades of the blushes, I was wondering, mm, which one should I get? And I was instantly drawn to Fuego Flush just because I really like those warm coral tones for my blushes. But I'm actually going to try the Strawberry um, Drip, no, yeah, Strawberry Drip and Daiquiri Dip instead just to try something a little different. So I'm going to take the Daiquiri Dip shade and with my Makeup Geek, uh, Makeup Geek Cheek Highlighting Brush. I'm actually going to use it as my blush, cream blush. Clean brush, clean blush brush. That's a twister. I'm going to, how cute is the mirror though? It doesn't smell, okay. I'm going to pick some up a little bit and then I'll just see if I can like build it up. But I'm going to use this shade on the side that I didn't put any powder and we'll see how that goes. I think I picked up a little bit too much. <laughs> it's okay. I'll blend it up. Blend it up. Yep, definitely put way, 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 way too much. I'm just going to take my sponge and dab over the top. That's better. That's pretty. Quite like that. So this shade's pretty pigmented, okay? So go lightly with the brush. Now to try something different, because this side's powdered, I'm gonna try applying the blush in with my sponge. And I'm gonna take the strawberry color, strawberry drip, my wet sponge. I'm gonna take some uh, on there. And let's see if this comes up. Ooh, so this one's a very like lollipop Barbie kind of pink. Okay, with the sponge you definitely let you need to layer some more bit by bit. And it's actually it's going over the top very nicely, even though it's got some I've set this side with powder. Yeah. Right, so you see that this color is definitely darker or it's got more of the pigmentation and this one's got the nice light pink color. I think I really like this shade photo, especially for my skin tone. But this one's also really nice and pretty. So like if I'm wearing a no makeup makeup look and I just wanna do a light flush of color, this will be perfect. Um, this is more of a glam look. 
But no, this has really surprised me, this shade here. Even though I've got two different coloured blushes on, I'm not going anywhere, so I'm actually going to leave this on for the rest of the day. I will check back in later and see how it's gone, like if it's faded, if it's moved or anything. Uh, but in saying that, I will now set this side of my face, just so it's all even. And let's see how that blush looks once I set my face. Ah, kind of turn it down a little bit, but you still can see the colour, which is nice. Yes, so I'll check you guys back in and see how the blushes have lasted throughout the day. And we are back. Ooh, my face is so oily and shiny. Um, but yeah, I have pretty much left this on for quite some time. I don't even know what the time is right now. In a good, like, I would say six six, seven hours, so not as long as I would like it to be, but I can definitely say that it has faded. It's definitely removed a bit when I touch my face, but next time, the only thing I'll do different is I would use a cream bronzer and a cream blush first before powdering my face, um, just because it does blend in really nicely, and then I'll put uh, my powder all over, and then on top of my bronzer, I'll use a powder bronzer and a powder blush just to kind of make sure and set everything in place so it doesn't move, it doesn't budge and it will also increase the longevity of the colour so I think that's the only thing I'll do different next time. I would definitely recommend this for anyone that has really dry skin because creams, it's going to be very hydrating and it's not going to cling on to any like dry patches or on your face or anything like that. And for mature skin type, I'd probably say cream blushes are definitely a way to go. Is it a yeah, nah, or nah, yeah? Nah, yeah. Yeah, nah, yeah. Because yeah. I would definitely want to use it more um, next time and just play around with it some more. It's a nah, yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much my review and first impressions on the products. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching. I guess I hope you're all safe and well, and I'll see you all in my next one. <laughs> Bye. Excuse me. Ugh. And then I'm gonna check back in and we'll see. Whoops. Just